Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Reviews. Firstly, I need to say welcome to all the new subscribers and thank you for subscribing to my channel. I don't know if some of you have come across thanks to my lovely friend um, who owns Bubba's Melties, Nicole. Thank you very much for giving me a shout out over on TikTok. And if some of you have come across from TikTok, thank you. I appreciate it. And um, hopefully you'll get to see a little bit more content. So guys, I have taken a bit of a break, a bit of a step back. I have my personal reasons and most of you know why. I am still not doing very good as far as pain is concerned, but I am slowly learning to manage with the new medication. Obviously my medication is going to change again very soon because I'm going to be referred to two different pain managements, one's for my back, one's for my neck. Anyway, today we are going to be doing a video on a company that I have featured on my channel multiple times, as I do with lots of small independent businesses. Um, but I found with, with this one company in particular, I am not allergic to the the jewelry, the metal, which is brilliant, which means I can wear them for a, a long number of time. For example, I've had this bracelet on for over three months and not once has it irritated me. If I was to wear anything but 925 stainless steel or gold or silver, real stainless steel, silver, with stamped silver, I would find that I would be having a rash along my wrist. It'd be itchy, it'd be blister. Yeah. Or because I have a, um allergy to pewter and to nickel so i'm allergic to nickel and pewter anyway this company is nickel free and beauty free so yay so what who am i talking about you're probably well aware that i'm going to be talking about scarlet and chains or scarlet satanic panic they are the same company two different um two different names for for various reasons i don't know if they're going to join that into one but as far as i'm aware it's still scarlet and chains very much so because this is based around jewelry or body jewelry bdsm all around the chain so anything else that goes with it as you can see i am wearing a custom piece at the minute this is one of their chains i asked for two little stainless steel bats to be put on there and this was actually my um, rainbow Swarovski crystal off a necklace that my dad bought me and the necklace was very thin and very dainty and I find them necklaces don't last very long for me they get caught in my hair and they snap and I just I get really discouraged by the fact that you know I've, I've got a beautiful pendant and no chain to put it on so I asked them to put it on one of their chains and as you can see it's beautiful now the earrings I got also to match. Now, <laughs> quick story guys, before I get into this video, I went on a little excursion on my scooter to see if I could get to the closest town to me because the other towns are too far away on my four miles per hour mobility scooter. I charged it for 24 hours to make sure it was fully charged and off I went, very well aware that if this doesn't work, I'm gonna be lumbered. But I took the chance, I went all the way to the local town and I went to the pound shop, uh, which was Poundland, and I went to another shop, I can't quite remember which other shop I went to, but I went to two shops in all, my battery was fine, it was still full, I got pretty much near home, probably about 15 minutes away from home, um, and as I was driving along there was no drop curb, so I had to bump down the curve which is not right good for your scooter tyres or your motor because it's quite low at the back and then I had to bump up so not something I wanted to do but the further I was driving the further my battery was going to die and I thought I can't do this all the drop curves had cast parts on it so I took a, a chance by drop down and bumping up so when I got to the top of the bridge because it was a bridge to go down I thought oh this will be alright just straight forward down there take a, a, a right, is it right? No, take a left and then into my estate. Um, but no, I got to the top of the um, bridge and as I went to go down, my scooter just completely cut out. Um, <laughs> I jerked forward, I hurt my neck, my earring flew out of my ear onto the main road. I didn't see exactly whereabouts, but I know it went as far as it went, which was onto the road, because it wasn't on the pavement when I looked down. And I know it was on my ear before that. How did I know? Because when I got to the top of the hill, I was messing about with my headphones and I always checked they were still on. Um, 
cut a long story short my scooter died i had to try and roll it down the hill off the brake thing it wasn't having any of it as i got to the bottom i rang my husband and he said just restart the battery that is what i did and off i went home and i still had quite a large amount of battery left so that was brilliant but i lost one of my earrings and i was absolutely heartbroken about it because these are custom made rainbow ones so I did contact Sophie and Drew and told them and they said don't worry about it we will sort that out for you and I was like I don't mind paying for it honestly it's not your fault it's not my fault but it happened but yeah anyway here's a nice shiny red packet with my other earring in which I can't wait to get back on because this is probably one of my favorite sets so I was like oh thank you for that so they didn't charge me for that earring but I did when i did tell them they said do you want us to just send it now and i said no don't do that because that's costing you instead just wait until i order again and then i'd only just grabbed an order from them guys literally two days or even the same day yeah it's the same day it's the same day i got this and i was wearing it around my neck that this happened because i haven't got any earrings to match this so i just put these on um <laughs> so yeah how about that so i didn't want them to start paying for a postage for something that that i lost not them so i said wait until i order again and then we'll go from there so i ordered again so here is my scarlet and chains <laughs> my earring <laughs> thank you guys so much you don't know how happy i am to see that and then obviously a pouch with my goodies in and my card right i have got i think i've got about last time i counted i think i had about 17 of these <laughs> 18 of these so yeah right so let's get stuck in so obviously this is the one i've just pulled out i will do that in a minute and then obviously this is the missing earring um i'm so i'm so grateful to drew and sophie for this this is probably my my um what i'd call the Swarovski crystal that I admire the most. I think it's just a beautiful, beautiful um, crystal. It's got all beautiful colors. I like the fact that you can get a shift of amethyst in there and jade and all your other um, gemstones. But I just love the rainbow Swarovski. And I know that they're not doing these ones anymore um, because the, the seller stopped doing it. So I will cherish this set. And if I ever go out on that scooter again, you can bet your bottom dollar I will not wear these again. That's for sure. Um, my problem was the little backs that were on them. I've lost them. And if you put the tiny little plastic backs that come with them, that stops them from popping out. So it was it's definitely my fault then. So this is the other earring, guys. They put it on the Ruin card. And um, I don't need to tell you anything about that because it's the other one of these. So you can see how beautiful it is. So let's have a look at the business card. So this is the bind ruin. I am I'm considering um, having this bind ruin tattooed on my skin. I'm not going to put scarlet and chains on because that would be just a bit odd. But I'm thinking of nicking this bind ruin because I love the meaning behind it. And I just think it's a really nice ruin. Right. So scarlet and chains. She can't read like my glasses so let's get my glasses on so it says customizable handmade stainless steel jewelry and accessories for all alternative lifestyles sales at scarletandchains.com or www.scarletandchains.com you can find them on other social media platforms such as facebook um etsy twitter instagram i'm not too sure if they're any further on in the platforms but i do know that they're on all them platforms and they've got their own shopify which is um the scarlet satanic panic one that i buy mostly when i first started buying from scarlet and chains i was going through the etsy store but we all know that etsy have a, a quite a, a high kind of um fee for using the etsy platform so them going over to shopify obviously means they make a little bit more money rather than it just being thrown into the wind for a platform that you could personally that is their business card i absolutely love the whole meaning i love everything about scarlet and chains as well as the people um, during sophia absolutely love like they know that i'll always give them an, a good shout out and a good review i've not reviewed everything that i've got recently from scarlet and chains i have been doing a few reviews over on um tiktok just because it's quicker and it's easier but i did say that i was going to do this as a whole 
on this video because I need to start doing that again. Right, so this was something that I bought maybe about four weeks ago now, guys, and I am so in love with this that I've worn it pretty much nearly every day and people probably would have seen me wearing this in pictures and wondered because I've not done a review about it but this is one of the new ranges that they came out with and there's a few of the new range that I like and you can't have them all although there isn't the one that I'm, I'm probably gonna grab got my eye on it it's probably the one that's probably the most expensive that I've bought out of the whole lot but it'll be something I can have in my collection and be happy I've got so without further ado comes in the satin bag with the bind ruin on the front and it says scarlet and chains i have so many of these as well guys but they, they actually do come in handy i don't put my jewelry in the pouches now like i used to i used to hang them all up on my jewelry thing with them in the pouches but I, I could never know what was what and it was like i was going through all these pouches trying to find an anklet and i was like no i'm just going to put them all up here so at the minute they're up on my back shelf if you can see behind me they're all hanging there i have got a gemma craft studio she's making me a holder for them which i absolutely love so that will be my scarlet and chains holder i'm going to ask her to paint the bind ruin on the holder if she can so it's just specified specific i can't just can't say it so then though that it's, it's a scarlet and chains holder Let, let's just do it that way so this necklace i can't quite remember the price of it guys because i've had it a month and i've got scatty brain somewhere around 34 pound possibly maybe a little bit more i'm not too sure but oh, i absolutely love it so this is the double layer a little bit of research now i'm going to post a few pictures as we're talking of the new collection that they've got in at the minute because i just think all of it is absolutely amazing obviously they are not doing this rock crystals that we are aware of which is or what we're used to which is this type um and what they've got left now they're, they're trying to get rid of so last chance it'll say on the website so if you're interested in grabbing the last of this Swarovski crystal that they've got left just go to last chance and then have a look on there now I'm quite happy with the new set um, it's different now let me just so as you can see this is the different kind of, of gem uh, this one is amethyst obviously I will go for amethyst because it's my birthstone now this as I said is a full circle crystal goddess double layer necklace and I paid £40 for this guys if you use the clear pay well it will work out over the month obviously it would be £10 and then obviously your postage on top of that because I have a code, I get a little bit money off this. So thank you for that, guys. And, you know, I'm grateful for that. It means I've got a little bit money extra to, to grab a couple of things. I mean, I want some of the moon earrings next. It's, it's on my agenda. I want some earrings like this or like this. And, you know, I'm sure Drew and Sophie would be able to do that for me because i just like matching sets guys it's just that's just the way i am i like matching sets when i used to get from other small businesses i always try to make sure i got the earrings as well not always but now i will try and get the whole set so this is that necklace guys so you've got your 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 loop here and then you've got a smaller loop here and then you've got your moons and then you've got this beautiful pearl amethyst gem in this ring i just think it's absolutely stunning this all comes in different styles and designs which i'll put up here now i'm going to put that on my neck um in a minute and take this one off now there is another one like i said that i was after and it's the crystal bloody chandelier which i'll put up here that is around 62 pound like i said that would be my most expensive one to get but i will get it i just not not just yet but i will get it and i think what i might do first is get a bracelet and earrings to match this necklace and then i can concentrate on moving on to another necklace and the earrings that i get to this will match that as well so easy clasp guys like i, I always say let me just take this one off now 
So as you can see, here is your clasp. I've got arthritis in my hands as well as my neck and my back and my legs. And it's just so easy. I am struggling now with fastening things and going like this because of my neck and my shoulders. So Ben tends to put anything, but this, I do these, I put these on myself. But if I'm to put anything on from like, um, which is Blue Crafts or Chains and Charms, or any of the other companies that I've done, Alternative Finch, I will obviously struggle a little bit unless the clasp is easy enough, um, and Ben will do that for me. But that is, I, I just absolutely love this one. So that's that one, guys. I will put back up there. And obviously the earring, I just wore that because I had the matching set on with that one so i'm happy about that thank you guys so that is this one guys i'm going to wear it now so you can see but you've probably noticed i've worn it in a lot of my pictures recently especially at my tiktok videos right so that's one satin bag that i'm going to put away moving on guys to my next order that's the front um i had to have these because i do have two anklets here two different design i had a whole matching set with one of them which is the coffin one and the other one is the matching set to this so i've actually got the um anklet and the necklace and the earrings i will probably get the bracelet to this eventually and then it's a whole complete matching set but you know there's it depends because i know that the, the they've only got so many of them in fact yeah they've only got so many of crystals left so chances that i may not get that but I have, <laughs> so I bought two anklets matching guys, so if you look closely, let me just see if I've got it the right way, I picked the rainbow gem because I, that's my favourite Swarovski crystal in every one of those that they've got, so I bought two anklets guys matching, so they are identical anklets, now what I could do if I'm wearing that set and I don't really want to be spending more money on a bracelet, is I could actually wear this and just tighten it here and then clip it here, which is easy to do. I've got a little little clip thing that I can do that. And I could wear it as a bracelet as well. Hey! But these are two anklets, guys. I wanted matching anklets because as much as I love wearing them anklets, the um the bat is quite sharp and i have like caught on the bedding and i've sc <laughs> scratched the bed with them and the other one's perfect i uh, can wear that in bed and i have worn that in bed but i wanted two matching so i went and grabbed these two guys now these were the mini luna these are if you want to buy them just like that without the gem it is 37 pound for the two which is i think is absolutely brilliant um, I think the postage is $3.99. Yeah, it's $3.99. Now, because I wanted to be a pin in the backside, like I always am, I wanted two gems on there. And obviously, you know, it doesn't take that long to do, but it's still, people could have had that in a necklace. It still costs money to, to do that. So in total, I paid £44. That was all included. And I thought that was absolutely brilliant. Made up with that. So thank you, June Sophie perfect absolutely perfect the fact that you know they haven't charged me that much to have the gems put in but you know i'm just so happy that they could do that and they had them gems left i did ask them which gems they had left and they did say we still have the rainbow ones and i was like yes i love that one so there's the anklets guys i will take some pictures of me wearing the anklets in a bit and you can get to see what they look like i'm going through this whole phase of anklets and toe rings at the minute i've got toe rings for every toe on my foot apart from the big toe because i can't find a ring to fit that one um but i just think it looks really really pretty i i'm contemplating having my my feet tattooed when i don't know maybe next year not this year because i'm in too much pain as it is um but yeah that is it so that is it guys scarlet in chains oh scarlet satanic panic thank you june sophie what, what i absolutely love this um Please go ahead and have a look on their website. You will not be disappointed. There is a lot to look at, guys. So if you're like, if you're a first time buyer on there and you've like overwhelmed with what they do, just start off small like I did. I started off with just the um, the pentacle with my birthstone on a chain. I started off with just that. And then I ended up having the matching bracelet. And then before I knew it, I was getting the earrings. And, and then I was just... I was just hooked, 
pretty much like a lot of people. <laughs> a lot of alternative people are buying from Scarlet and Chains or Scarlet Satanic Panic. I can't wait till they're back at the Birmingham market because I'm quite local to them. So I'm going to go across and I'm going to meet them. And if they don't mind, I'm going to film it and I'm going to use it on my channel. And it'll promote their business even on here and on other platforms like TikTok. So yeah, I think it should be done. Alright guys, take care of yourself. Any questions, pop them in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a good thumbs up. If you don't like this video, give it a thumbs down. It's all part of the algorithm. Um, and if you want to say why you don't like the video, that helps me improve on the next video that I do, either for Scarlet and Chains or for another business that I may review. Alright guys, take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you, Drew and Sophie. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and hit that like button if you like this video because it helps me out and my channel. Take care guys and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.